Good day guys, thanks for visiting Richard's Corner. My name is Richard and this is another haul reveal video. Today I've got a package from my friends over at the Salvation Army Thrift Store here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. This is a dense package. And according to the price tag here, I paid a whole $2.99 for it. And uh, I'm really excited to share this with you, but I'm also trying to figure out how I can make this video not so long. <laughs> because if you're a longtime viewer with um, Richard's Corner, you know I love talking about my toys. I love uh, how they relate to me and, and stuff like that. I love sharing that with you. So um, I might have to just sort of pick and choose what I'm going to share, but I'll sort of still give you an overall uh, view of what uh, I picked up. So please hang tight and we will show you what I picked up today. So as you can see here, we have the entire haul on my table. Now, usually I don't do a pan like this until the end of the video, but the haul from that one package is so gigantic, I have to pan around to um, show you everything I found here. So we have Cecilia here from Monsters, Inc. We've got Tigress from uh, Kung Fu Panda. We've got Blue from uh, Rio. We've got, um, I'm not sure what doll this is. Uh, I've got a couple of... Uh, uh, Curious George toys, which is really cool. Uh, I've got an awesome Teen Titans title that goes probably with the Robin back there. Uh, a couple of Thai Beanie Babies, um, an interesting Yoshi, um, a basketball. I've got Charlie and Chocolate Factory Go Fish game. I've got another Leonardo, um, oh sorry, that's a Raphael toy, pardon me, from uh, McDonald's. We've got a Door from Monsters, Inc. Uh, we've got another one of these um, Happy Meal toys, another little cute Build-A-Bear stuffy, and then I've got this little creepy doll that was also made from uh, for McDonald's. So I'm going to just pick and choose a few things to highlight this uh, haul with and uh, give you an idea of uh, how far ahead I got buying this all this um, stuff, this awesome stuff, for a whole $2.99. So uh, let's take a closer look at some of these items, shall we? So um, it's kind of ironic that the haul becomes this foreground actually becomes background and the background becomes even further background because this is really busy right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to try to dwell on any item too, too much for, for the sake of making the video a manageable length here, but we'll, we'll check out some really cool items here. I love these awesome Thai beanie babies. This one happens to be lips, the fish. <laughs> I can see that it's got a really cute set of lips right there. Very nice coloring. I love, uh, the condition really nice and and, and clean and dust free cute expression here this snake really um, intrigues me though uh, apparently his name is slither and um, I, I don't think i've ever seen this particular thai beanie baby it is a um uh, well, i'm not sure how long this is actually if i get my ruler here it is about a whole yeah it's almost 12 inches long that's kind of crazy actually <laughs> so um uh, not not creepy at all though. It's 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 got a very neutral look um, I have to sort of see whether or not this is an older Thai Beanie Baby or not because it doesn't actually say on here, but um, I, I don't remember the this uh, this particular uh, Thai Beanie Baby here, so I, I'm wondering whether or not it's an older one I guess I'll the information will be on, on the bottom of the screen if it if I do find some info on it um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I love Johnny Depp in this movie. He plays such an awesome character, and uh, it's such a nice reboot of an old, old uh, movie um, with Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, um, yeah, this is this is a really awesome Go Fish game, and I, I, from the look of the box, I don't think it's even been opened. So I'm really looking forward to sort of checking it out. I'm imagining that there's maybe, the, you know what, I'm, I am going to reveal it to you guys. Why not? Um, let's just sort of see what the Go Fish cards look like. Oh, wow, that's cool. So they're, they've, got, they've got this nice shape to them, so they're easy to handle. This is the back of the card. You can sort of see what it looks like there. Now, the fronts of the cards look like this. Okay, there's, these are blanks. And, oh, okay, so pink boat. Oh, there's a bunch of pink boats. And here's Charlie. And there's Willy Wonka himself. That's played by Johnny Depp. Uh, we've got Grandpa Joe <laughs> in uh, his um, in the awesome goggles there. And then we've got the golden ticket. We've got Mike, the mean gamer kid. <laughs> we've got one of the Oompa Loompas. Uh, we've also got uh, Baruch Assault, who's the spoiled uh, rich kid. Uh, we've got Violet, the um, the athletic um, gymnast, and we also have. Augustus, the, uh, the, uh, the person who loves to gorge on chocolate. <laughs> so an interesting Go Fish game because, you know, it's, it's more of a, there's, there's more than just um, 
two of each. There's actually three of each of them. So I'm not sure if the rules apply differently or not. So anyway, that's a neat little go fish game uh, from, from my friends at the thrift store there at Salvation Army. That's pretty awesome. Pretty happy with that. Really pleased to see one of these in the haul today. And um, I, I think I, I hauled one of these guys before. And this one is actually complete. This is a McDonald's uh, Raphael toy, and it actually has a secret compartment which releases another turtle on, on a bike. It, it actually, it's like a launch, right? So it, it fits in here like that. So when you, when you pop down his, his, um, uh, his shell, I think there's a release for it, actually. Yeah, I think there's going to be a release for it. I think there's a release, yeah. I'm assuming there's a release. Anyway, maybe there isn't a release, but once you flip this down, you actually release the the um, turtle in there. <laughs> so um, I think I have a Leonardo like this. So it's actually cool to actually add Raphael to, to the list. That's pretty awesome. Really awesome looking figure. Nice and lean, nice and fierce. Really awesome. This door is very iconic. I don't know if you recognize it, but that's actually, there's the light. It is from Monsters Incorporated. So. I think that's really cool. I have so many Monsters Incorporated toys. This is actually going to complement my display really, really nicely. I'm really happy to see that. Look, really nice uh, detail in the light there, as you can see. Very cool. Now, this guy creeps me out. <laughs> On the back here, it actually says that it is a 2010 Alexander Doll Company Incorporated toy made for McDonald's. But I'm not sure which line this is yet. I haven't done the research. It's got a really cool, like, fake fur feather kind of thing and uh it's a very interesting period looking piece right 2010 it's not that old i mean it's only seven eight years old uh but the eyes do close when you lay it down so this is porcelain doll style kind of thing very creepy <laughs> so i don't think it's supposed to be but um it's it's neat i think i've revealed uh, something like this uh but it wasn't uh, a period piece like this it was actually from wizard of oz so i'm not sure if this is another offshoot of these classic dolls from uh the period but again the information will be on the bottom uh here's the uh the awesome build a bear uh thing here's i, I show you the tag to show you it's a build a bear there you go yeah red teddy <laughs> from build a bear workshop and i love that she's in this little little dress and it kind of reminds me of 50s 60s kind of swing kind of dance you know like a sock hop dance really cute I, I just I like that that's really nice this is a really interesting Yoshi it looks like he's hanging on to something and it still talks I don't know if you're gonna hear it now it, it it's the, that kind of sound it's like it, it reminds me of like Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong Jr. Um, just one more time so I, I don't know what, it, what the significance is. Um, it certainly uh, isn't background music from any Mario or Yoshi game. Uh, so I, I'll have to look into what this is. Um, I think the markings here would reveal a little bit, but I'm not sure if it's going to focus because it's blowing out. I think it says it's a McDonald's toy of some sort. But anyway, uh, so I, <laughs> I'm going to turn that off <laughs> so it doesn't annoy you guys or annoy me. But yes, this is, this is a Yoshi figure. Um, it's oddly... Sh it's oddly um, posed but uh if i if i get a context to this i will i will share that with you another time um some really awesome curious george toys now these drive me crazy because I, they really speak to my childhood uh, i love this little guy this is a flipping toy where you can make him do um uh flips <laughs> which is kind of neat love it and then um this this with the really nice curious george logo on the back this is an awesome uh, ball bearing maze game and uh, you basically try to work its way through the maze and it, just old-fashioned uh, fun like analog fun so toys like this um, you know you don't see this as much anymore but these look pretty recent um, I'm just sort of trying to see what the markings say here uh, it might have been about a 2012 toy these guys but um, I'm very curious to see what <laughs> not to use the, the name curious but I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm curious to sort of see what this um, fetches online again I'll share the information on screen there but I just love that like the, de the the attention to details so awesome really captures the the whimsical and fun um, nature of the animated show and I'm talking about the new animated show not the old one so you might see episodes of Curious George on PBS as well as other um, channels on demand but uh, I love this flipping toy that's probably one of the the keepers right there look at that that's awesome you don't see things like that too too often anymore so really nice find with Curious George there 
Now, Robin in the background, I've, I've uh, hauled before as a Teen Titans toy, but I've never actually seen the matching Teen Titans logo. Uh, so this is actually from the Teen Titans animated show, and this is just one of the many toys from that series. I actually think that that's really cool that I've got now something that sort of complements each other. It almost looks like like a like a <laughs> like a like the, an intro to a um, a show, doesn't it? Like that's that's actually really cool. So I'm I'm really happy to find that. That's that's neat. Uh, you don't see uh, unique items like that too often in, in any kind of thrift store home. Uh, Tigress from uh, Kung Fu Panda, always a pleasure to see her. This is another Happy Meal toy right there. She's in an awesome ready pose there. Now this blue I've never seen before. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a McDonald's toy. I'm actually just double checking that now. Yes, it was made for McDonald's uh, back in, if I get it to focus one more time, back in 2011. So uh, 2011 uh, Rio toy, this is Blue from the movie, and I love that he's on the skateboard. Uh, Blue, if you not, don't know the character, he's the one that doesn't know how to fly because he's been in captivity with a very, very loving owner. But uh, when he uh, tries to go to uh, this remote exotic place and meets another bird of his kind, um, she's surprised that he can't fly. So here he is mobile on a skateboard, which is awesome. And I, I was just pressing the button to see whether or not he still has a voice, and maybe he does. I'm going to turn it on to see if he does. Oh, he does. It sings. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't, I won't bore you with that, but that's, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, very much like the movie, him cruising down, you know, with the music. Eh? So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> and then finally, we got uh, Cecilia, uh, Celia from uh, Monsters, Inc. there. I've never seen a figure of her. Always see Sully, always see Mike, but I've never seen some of the supporting characters other than in the little tiny ones from Busy Books. So I'm really happy to find that. That is really, really awesome stuff. Now, I think I've, I've touched on every character uh, except this, this uh, doll. I'm not really sure who she is. I'm not overly interested in keeping her. Uh, she doesn't even look very anime-ish for me. Or uh, I'm, I'm, Yeah, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> so uh, she's probably not going to stay in the collection. And uh, this one I have probably hauled for before, but I cannot remember if it's Ben 10 or if it is... Um, what series this is, but again, I'll probably flash the information down on the bottom of the screen to uh, share what uh, eBay is uh, citing it as. Anyway, that, whoops, <laughs> and I, of course I knock them down. <laughs> so this is uh, Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for this haul, and despite my best efforts, I still love talking about my toys, and even if I'm not dwelling on price directly and I'm still flashing it on the screen, I still uh, just enjoy everything that I find. I mean, whether it's a uh, you know, a kid's really, really geared towards a kid or, you know, just sort of speaks to the old childhood in me or just because I think it's cool as a collector. Uh, I'm really, you know, just I just can't help but talk about my toys <laughs> and sharing it with you. So thank you for visiting today. Um, I'm going to wish you happy hunting and happy collecting. And I hope that all of your finds, whether they're at thrift stores or otherwise, are equally awesome. I appreciate your visit today. I hope you'll hit like and subscribe so that you stay in touch with Richard's Corner and know what is new and happening here on this channel. Please also consider hitting that little bell icon so that you're instantly notified when a new video has been put online. I so appreciate your visit, guys. Richard's Corner cannot be here without your support, so I appreciate your visit today. We're going to see you in the next video, which is we try to do every single day. Thanks for visiting. I hope you enjoyed this haul. We'll see you next time. Thanks for visiting Richard's Corner, guys.